Amtrak's Sunset Limited Westbound. In part one, we left Crowley and the rest of Acadiana chasing the sunset toward Los Angeles. Parkerson Avenue. Avenue F. The sun was setting as we left Lake Charles, crossing the Calcasieu River. We soon found ourselves crossing a true Louisiana swamp, chasing that sunset into East Texas. That's right, we had a bridge to go over. It's funny. Sabine River, we are now in Texas. The revised schedule of the Sunset Limited gives us more daylight, allowing us to see this iconic hotel in Beaumont, Texas. The Port of Beaumont connects its petroleum industry with the Gulf of Mexico. Heading west from Beaumont, the Sunset Limited on the revised schedule travels through East Texas. It always impresses me that there's so much countryside even between these large cities. Speaking of large cities, our next stop is Houston, the largest city in Texas. Leaving the Houston Amtrak station, the train does an interesting maneuver. First, it travels straight out and crosses the main railroad tracks, the main line right here at this diamond. Now look at some of these houses, these worn down, boarded up houses. I've been seeing them here for years. Now we're going back the mile. What Charlie says is true. As if seeing those old dilapidated houses once wasn't enough, now we back up on the line to cross the main line again. You can see the freight train through the window. The main line is double tracked, so after backing up, we join the main line for the next part of our trip. Even with the revised schedule, the Houston area is the last we see in the daylight. Heading westbound, it seems we always arrive in San Antonio in the dark. When Southern Pacific ran the Sunset Limited, they picked up westbound cars in El Paso. Amtrak Sunset Limited picks up westbound cars from Chicago at San Antonio. The platform is a busy place. I often sleep through this stop, but this time in the wee hours. I got my video camera out and walked around. The hubbub on the platform ended. I seemed out there by myself. The San Antonio station seemed to be made for nighttime. I walked to the rear of the train and found this private car. Amtrak often pulls cars belonging to railroad clubs. Cars from streamliners during railroad's golden age are often refurbished by individuals or clubs. This was a car from the famous California Zephyr. This retired Southern Pacific steam engine was strung with lights for Christmas. At San Antonio, two cars from the Chicago train are hitched to the Sunset Limited for the trip to Los Angeles. These added cars are from a train called the Texas Eagle, a train Amtrak saved from the old Missouri Pacific Railroad. Looking into the waiting room, I'm reminded that some of these passengers have to wait for hours before they can board the Sunset Limited. It would take some time for the new train to be configured, but I was ready to go back aboard the sleeping car. <laughs> 